man what's up y'all man it's him again man and if y'all if y'all really was tapped into my channel man i'm sorry for being away for five months you know if you're new don't worry about it you know my videos are still there but man i just been you know i've been going through some shit man i i don't really want to get too deep into it man i'm doing pretty doing pretty good for myself anyway right today's sunday right man i got work tomorrow and you know usually most people they would think yay you know be excited you know you get to go make money and you know this that right but uh the the, the more time goes on it, it's more like what's the point you know what are we working for and i say that because you know i have this app right my job has this app where you know you can see all all your pay stuffs right and i've been at this new job for about half a year now and so far i've probably made 10 to eleven thousand dollars but if i go in my bank account bro i am broke as shit it's like where the fuck is my money going like i know i have bills you know i know i you know spend money on shit but it's like six months and i have probably bro i'm not broke but it's like where the fuck is my money going you know and you know i've been watching videos and i've been looking at statistics and it's like young men like as time goes on you know as the generations get older and younger or whatever or whatever that means <laughs> but as as time goes on right young men are starting to work less and less it's like they're not getting education and they're not hopping in the job force right and you got to think about it it's like like I'm, I'm i was born in 04 you know i'm gen z and you know we got millennials we got gen x gen y we got boomers and so on right and then after me we got gen alpha which is going to be a fucking shit show right but my generation it's like what are we working for you know i i've I seen a video right back in the day you know you could buy a house a brand new house for nine thousand dollars ten thousand dollars that same fucking house today is probably three hundred thousand dollars four hundred thousand dollars and it's like we have to even to get a fucking car bro you got to pay an arm and a leg when you, you got to drive a shitty car that's going to break down on you but you got to pay 500 a month for the shit plus 300 for insurance it's like what are we working for you know it's not the jobs we're working they're not fulfilling like yeah they have benefits but even the benefits are so cheap it's like the bottom of the barrel man <sighs> and i know some of y'all might not be able to relate you know some of y'all might you know have great jobs have great lives which is pretty fucking rare nowadays but it's like you look at the statistics and you know as time goes on young men are starting to work less and less and someone like me you got to ask why right you got to you got to you got to dig deeper into it right you got to ask why and like i said like the housing market even like buying the car bro it's like it's not fulfilling like back in the day bro in the 50s 60s 70s 80s to an extent around the 80s is when you know shit got shit went south right but around you know when when the millennial no nah, no nah, when the when gen when the boomers and you know gen x and when they were growing up right back in the you know the good old days right you were as a man right you were working for 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 your future like the window was fucking open you know you had so many different possibilities like you can go on trips you can start a family you can go buy a house or two if you want you can buy a fucking yacht off of one income and it's like it's like bro it's like nowadays you can't even go to mcdonald's without fucking <laughs> bro i'm in the parking lot right now but it's like you can't even go to mcdonald's or go to fucking walmart without stressing over 20 bucks and you know that might not be the case for everybody but you know and i'm not saying i'm struggling like that but you know i've been there and you know back in the day you know when boomers you know gen x and you know all the other old people were growing up and shit it's like you were working for a family if you're a man you're most likely working for a woman you know starting a family your kids you know you, the one it, it was the you were more optimistic nowadays people are just very pessimistic and it's for a good fucking reason it's like like i bet you 30 20 years ago bro at 18 you had you probably moved out your parents crib comfortably you know start a little family have a little kid or two and you could be fine but it's like that is that just seems out the fucking picture nowadays it's like what are we working for and like i said i'll probably put a picture of it somewhere over here but that the statistic i saw where it's like as time goes on young men are working less and less it makes sense when you think about it it's because 
the, the jobs just aren't fulfilling like to get a good decent job like you got to pay an arm and a leg for education you got to take out a loan that fucking has an interest and you got to pay 10 grand back on a 50 grand fucking loan it's like everything is a fucking scam and it, like even me i have a great job you know i love what i do but it's like what am i working for like <laughs> I, like i said i've probably made 10 grand or 12 grand so far and where the fuck is it <laughs> Where's my money going, bro? It's, it's like, bro, it's like, what's the fucking point, you know? <laughs> bro, and another thing that's, like, not really touched on is how, like, the government's kind of playing with us, too. Like, like every time I get a check, right, I look at my pace, I look at my pay stub, and I see all the deductions, and I see that, you know, I'm, my money's going to Medicare, Social Security, this and that, right? But, you know... Am I ever going to fucking see that? <laughs> are you, if you're working, are you ever going to see that money? You know, it's like, it's like, I don't know, man. It's like, we know politicians are sending billions of our tax. Like, if you pay taxes, bro, like, I'm a taxpayer. You're you watching this, most likely a taxpayer. If you are, you're not, it's whatever, right? But as a taxpayer, like, we know our money's not going towards, you know, what we were told is going towards, like, schools and roads and, you know, education and, you know, just... You know, to fix your community, basically, like our tax money is going over fucking seas. It's going to corrupt fucking businessmen. It's not. It's not being used for what we were told it's being used for. It's like, it's like growing up, we were we were told get a job and you can get a house and you can live a happy life and you can work towards financial freedom, but it's like that window is like slowly closing as time goes on i don't know if you see it but i see it but then again working a job isn't the only fucking option you have like a lot of people say start a business get into you know different types of sources of income right and that's very true and me personally like i don't like i said in previous videos i don't want to be an employee my whole life but even then it's like what do i do like what business do i start like you know me you know i work in a trade i do low volt or whatever you know i can get my license and start a company with that but it's like every guy i work with you know they're in their 30s 40s 50s they always tell me like it, it's just not worth it like the juice just isn't worth the squeeze like you're gonna spend nights like your kitchen table is gonna be filled with paperwork man your family's not gonna be happy they're gonna be complaining that you're always working but they don't like bro even when it comes to that bro every dude i work with bro it's like their kids fucking hate them it's like daddy's never home and their wife or their girlfriend is she's not fulfilled because he's always working but whole time he's working to provide for y'all but y'all don't see that you know what i'm saying you know maybe that's a little more subjective but i'm not gonna lie every dude who had a kid and a wife or a girlfriend they just weren't happy like that's why they work like 70 60 50 hour weeks because they just don't understand that like kids are super fucking ungrateful like if there's one thing i learned <laughs> about kids they're so fucking ungrateful like oh my god anyway right kids man you'll be at work fucking breaking your back knees fucked up trying to do good for them but they don't see that and once you get home it's like can i get this can i get that and it's like bro like, <laughs> like i i'm, I'm fucking more to something but i'm fully aware of like I, I just understand at this point it's like i'd rather i'd rather be miserable at work than be miserable at home if you get what i'm saying like i'd rather be miserable getting money than be miserable at home and you know home doesn't always have to be miserable but you know for if you if you're a working man you fucking get it bro like most people don't understand but as a if you're a working guy you fucking understand like i would rather be miserable at work than miserable at home but at the end of the day but at the same time it's like what are we working for you know what i'm talking about obviously you know as a man you know if you're a female watching this i hope you can take a note or two but you know most of my viewers are male so if you're a man watching this it's like obviously we're working for you know financial freedom and you know starting family and most likely we're working to provide you know for a woman right but it's like i don't know bro it's been i heard plenty of stories at work talking about my ex-wife or my ex-fiance or my ex-girlfriend 
and it's all these dudes just working and working and bro hearing ex-wife is like a mind fuck like a 50 year old dude talking to my 20 year old ass about his ex-wife it's like bro what's the fucking point <laughs> you know what i'm talking about it's like oh my god like i heard stories where dude's working 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 busting his ass off and he gets home and his wife's cheating on him because she feels un she, she feels unfulfilled because her man's never home because he's always at work the whole time he's providing for you it's like what is the fucking point bro it, like the juice it's not worth the squeeze in 2024 the juice is not worth the squeeze like if i could bro i would take <laughs> bro if i could man i would take all my fucking money and just hit the casino man i play like, bro i heard this saying it's like not every player wins for every winner plays bro <laughs> bro i hit the casino man i'm fucking gambling i'm hitting the bro i'm just hitting the slot machines i'm playing baccarat i'm playing motherfucking oh my god bro if i could bro i just take all my money and just try to get rich man like i said every every player doesn't win but every winner plays man like <laughs> like is, 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 is this what it has came down to bro just gambling your life away just so you don't have to work bro i don't know man if you agree with me if, if you agree with me let me know in the comments man let me know it is the juice worth the squeeze because you know me being me right now 20 years old 2024 it's like i don't think so i don't fucking think so i'd be much happier fucking going to a casino and then hitting it winning the jackpot and putting a down payment on a house instead of working 20 fucking years to barely be able to afford the cheapest fucking house in my town you know what i'm talking about it's like let me know in the comments though is is the juice worth the squeeze if not let me know why if you think so let me know why anyway y'all if y'all been here since day one man if y'all been here since you know whenever man i apologize for not being consistent you know i still get comments you know i still look at my comments i'm still getting dms you know people seeing my videos you know change their lives you know maybe that's that's a bit of a stretch you know i'm just i'm just me you know i'm nobody special man i just like to talk bro. but anyway y'all man i'm about to go don't be afraid to like comment share subscribe man it's all greatly appreciated man i love y'all i'm gonna talk to y'all soon peace